Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to animate on a path inside of Blender 2.8. There's some cool little shortcuts and little tricks to use, and uh, we're going to address a few problems that people have with slowing things down and speeding them up while on a curve. And I'm going to show you two different ways to go about animating on a curve. Ready? Let's go. So if you notice, first thing here is I have this little triangle thing. It's really not a triangle. It's a spaceship. It's Hollywood, baby. Spaceship. Super cool. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this super cool spaceship and I'm going to give it something to animate on. So for that, I'm going to go to Add. I'm going to go to Curve. I'm going to go to Bezier. And you see that mine is at 15. Yours probably looks like this. It's at 1. You can't see it. It's hidden inside super cool spaceship. So I'm going to go and I'm going to type in 15. Boom. There we go. Okay. So I have a curve and I have my spaceship. So the first way to do this is to set a constraint so that this follows the path. So to do so, I'm going to go here to constraint, which I'm already on, and I'm going to say add object constraint, and I'm going to say follow path. And when I hit play, nothing happens because it doesn't have any idea what we want to do. So first we have to say target, target being the Bezier curve. Boom. Now it snaps it to the beginning of the Bezier curve, and it did so because it's at 0, 0, 0. Okay, you want to make sure your object that you create is at 0, 0, 0. So you want to snap it there before you do anything else. But this snaps to the beginning, and if I hit play, nothing still happens. If I hit follow curve, and I hit play, still nothing happens. All right, and you see that I hit follow curve and automatically it pointed the wrong way. So to fix that, I just hit X. Now it's following the right way. So with all that set up, that seems to be fine. I hit animate path, and now if I hit play, it goes on the path and it animates how we thought it would. Pretty cool, right? Now, I don't see anything set in here. So I'm playing this and it's playing but it's doing it arbitrarily, meaning it's just making it follow the path in the timing that it thinks feels right, which isn't what we feel is right, because we don't, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make it slow down and speed up. And here's how you do it with this add object constraint thing. We're gonna say fixed position, and now you'll notice if you hit play, nothing happens again, okay? This thing really doesn't want this thing to animate on the path. But now we have this thing offset, and we can scrub this and we can see that zero is the beginning and one is the end, right? So we could keyframe this. So if I'm at frame one, okay, I can just right click on this thing and I can say insert keyframe. Okay, so now I have offset one and you got keyframes over here. Let me expand this so you can see it better. Okay, I have keyframes. And if I go out to say frame 90, all right, I'm gonna change this to one, right click, say insert keyframe, and now between 1 and 90, I have this thing animated. So now what I can do is I can, I can speed it up by clicking and dragging these keyframes in. And now you see that it goes really fast, okay? Frame 1 and frame 29. Or I could slow it down by dragging it all the way out. So here you can see I can slow it, make it go slow. Okay, now other things I can do with this is I can have it kind of slow down and then look for something and then speed up again. By changing this over here from keyframe for timeline over to graph editor. And graph editor, you see we have this offset factor that's now keyframed. And if I hit home on the keyboard, you'll see, and let me make this bigger so you can see it. Okay, and I'll make this over here. We have this nice little curve between zero and, well, where is this? 200 or something, right? So. I can play with this, all right? And you can see here that you're playing with the time, the curves, okay? And you can make the curves go faster or slower. You can also go in here and you can add in keyframes in the middle. So I could go here, okay? And I could say, insert keyframe. And now over here, okay, I have a keyframe now at 77, right? I can pull this up. I can flatten this curve out and I can kind of have it sit here for a little bit. 
Okay, so I hit play. You'll see it goes up, slows down, sits there a little bit, and then fires up and speeds off again. All right, so you can play with it by just going in and playing with this offset factor inside of Graph Editor. And that you can, you can do, and you can set as many keyframes as you want, and you can have it slow down, stop, slow, speed up, and then speed on out. Okay, that's one way to do this. The second way that we can do this is we can parent this. And it's a little bit trickier to make it work, but you can parent this and have it follow, and I'll show you that one now. So this is number two. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna go and just go back to where we were at the very beginning of the video. Okay, so here I am back at the very beginning with, with my awesome spaceship and my Bezier curve. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the second way. So to do that, I'm going to select my spaceship and I'm going to hit shift, select my Bezier curve. I'm going to hit control P on the keyboard or I can right click in 2.8 here and hit parent. Okay. And I can choose follow path. All right. I'm just going to say follow path. That's cool. Follow path. And now what I want to do, definitely do here is I want to hit keep transform. Okay, and that snaps it to the beginning and kind of makes it face the wrong direction again. But we're going to fix that in a minute. All right, so you might see something really strange happen if you don't have this checked. So before you do anything else, check this or just redo that, that thing, parent it again, and hit keep transform on. Okay, just it's easier than explaining why not in this video, but just do that. Okay, now this is facing the wrong way. So I select this, all right. And I just go over to my object, little glyph over here. I go to relations and you'll see the parent is the Bezier curve. Parent type is object, that's fine. Tracking axis is positive Y. We do not want that. That's facing this direction. We want it to face this direction. So we just hit positive X, boom. And now you see that this is in fact a really quick way to just throw an object on a curve and have it animate. All right, just parenting, follow, boom, done. Problem though, is getting at the animation properties, okay? It doesn't seem to work the same way with this offset thingy here, at least not right now in 2.8. So here's what we do, all right? We can go to the Bezier curve. Okay, so we just go to object data and then under path animation, we have frames. And here is where we can keyframe stuff. So if I want, say frame, I want this to travel at 100 frames, I could say, right click on there, or I could just hit this little thing right here, okay, and I could say animate property, and it throws down keyframes. And then at say like frame 50, I want it to go a little bit slower, so I will throw this out, all right, insert keyframe. Then over here, I want it to speed up a little bit, so I'll take it down insert keyframe, and then over here I will uh, speed it up to the end, hit insert keyframe. So now I have this, if I hit play, you see it like it'll hit here, it'll slow, it'll go, it'll slow, it'll go. And now you can see that this stuff, these keyframes, will be on the graph editor as well. So if I go here and I click on Bezier curve, I go to path length, and I'll hit the home key on the keyboard, there it is. Not very fun looking, all kind of stepped looking, but it's there. And you can drag it around and you can play with it. All right, and you can kind of see what it's doing. Now I would also go in here, okay, I could hit A to select all of these. And I can go to uh, key, I'll hit interpolation mode and I'll change it to Bezier. So now it's a little smoother. And now you can see that you can just click on any one of these and drag them around. And you can start playing with the timing of this animation. All right, so if you have like two keyframes that are pretty close together here, you can kind of have it coast and then speed up. You know, you could have it, uh, you could have a kind of ramp up and then go faster and slow down, slow down, speed up, slow, and then ramp up, speed up. So that's the second way of getting to this, this animation data. All right. So the first one was keyframing in the constraints area, and the second 
is if you use the parenting, it's on the Bezier curve and it's under the little curve icon here, object data, and you keyframe it down here. So you lay in your keyframes and then you go over to the graph editor and then you can play with that path length and then you can make it go faster or slower. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so those are two ways to animate on a path inside of Blender, and especially Blender 2.8, which gives you this ni nice little uh, right-click functionality and a whole bunch of other stuff. But if I were doing this for real, I would I would create a little rig, and I'd probably, you, instead of, instead of uh, animating the object directly on a path, I would animate an empty on the path, and then I would parent this guy to the empty, and that way I could have control over this guy and have him bank and do sorts, all sorts of cool stuff. But I want this video to end at some point. And I like to keep these videos short for you. So I'm not going to go into that in this video. But if you want to see me do that in a future video, please write so in the comments. And I'll gladly, uh, gladly do one for you and show you how I set that up. All right. So hopefully you got something out of this video. And um, again, if you, if you did, hit like, subscribe, share it. Um, hit that little bell notification so you see when I make more of these. And I'm just going to keep going. So hopefully you like it. See you in the next video. Thanks.